Hey guys, we need to have a conversation today. This is important information. You are going to want to watch this video. Did I complete the project I started? No, I did not. That's apparently for another video, but this does contain a very common issue with the solution and the solution applies to all of the silhouette machines across the board. It does not matter which silhouette you are running. You're going to want to know this so that you can avoid the heart attack that I sustained while filming. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success, and if you are interested in joining our little community, you're going to want to hit the subscribe button down below. Now, let's get into this. I'm going to turn on the electrostatic bed, and I am going to place down my strong grip cutting mat and line up the grid with the electrostatic base. Give that just a second to charge up. It is secure. Now I'm going to take my blank and set it right here. Press down to make sure that it is secure. And then as an added precaution, I am going to use a little bit of tape to hold the picture frame to the mat. I don't know if this is necessary or not, but I would like to have success with my first piece of material that is somewhat thick. Now this is not as thick as the Curio can handle, but we're starting out small here to see how things will go. My design is going to be mostly at the bottom, so I'm trying to avoid taping in that area. Now, I did not tape the mat down at all, and it is stuck pretty well. I did tape my blank down. I don't think that's going to be going anywhere either. I'm going to switch the auto blade for a pen with the pen adapter. It's measuring the thickness. It looks like the design was a little bit off the edge. I probably should have made it a little bit smaller for my first run, but it is sketching very quickly. It looks like the material thickness was detected properly. Everything seems to be going just fine. And my pen ran out. I am so bummed out. Take two in a second. Hold on. Okay, take two. I'm going to put a new pen into carriage one. Guys, it was really going well. Tape it down again. And this time I am going to lower the force. It was almost engraving the first time and I don't think that the force needs to be quite that high. Any new project you do for a while with this Curio 2 is going to be trial and error until we start figuring everything out. And that can be fun as long as you have brought your patience for the day. All right, that seems to be secure. I've lowered my force to four. We'll see how that goes.
that looks like the auto detection did not go right. Let's stop this. and try it again. I'm going to put the force back up to seven and see if that is the problem. It is just not detecting thickness at this point. Okay, so what I did was I just pushed the pen further down in there. I don't think it should have been that far down in. It does appear that it is not detecting the thickness properly, which I am going to have to work on a little bit at a time. I'm going to let this run through and show you that it can, in fact, sketch on wood. I don't think I'm going to like the marker as much on the wood. But, apparently I need new gel pens, so this will have to just be our first trial run with the sketching on a thick material and see it for what it is. Okay, so this too has gone off the rails. We will do take three in just a minute. Okay, so this one is completely not right. I thought I'd scale the image down enough to where it would fit on the blank, but it did not. But there are issues with where the machine was sketching anyway. So I'm not sure if it is completely the size of the image that is to blame. Okay, so if you can see here, this little blob was supposed to be a flower that's down here. And these two flowers are raised up way too high. They should be along the bottom here. So I took a step back, caught my breath, regrouped and thought about what I would do in this situation with the Cameo 4. Any of the other Cameos, when the carriage gets out of line, if it's acting wonky, you need to turn the machine off, slide the housing to the right, and then to the left gently three times to reset it. I am going to try that now and see if that works. Let's Cross our fingers. Here we go. I'm holding the power button for three seconds to turn it off. I am going to remove this sketch pen as well.
There's one. Two. Three. Now we'll hold the power button for three seconds again and turn it back on. I'm going to turn on the electrostatic bed and get my mat positioned. This cutting mat sticks very well to the electrostatic bed. Now, I'm going to place the picture frame on the mat. I'm not going to go through any of the other steps at this point. I'm just going to see if it is able to measure the thickness of the material at this point. Okay, I told the fib. I am going to put the pen back in there because, of course, it's not going to send anything without a tool in the carriage. I should know that, right? All right, so placing the sketch pen back in, locking it in place. All right, let's see if it measures better this time. There we go. It did go down further this time. And I am going to stop this because my design is still off. Okay. So that was the issue and that is the solution. I am so excited. If you are doing something with the Curio 2 and you notice that it is not properly measuring your material, turn your machine off, slide the housing to the right and then to the left three times very gently. The housing will reset itself and you are good to go. A plus. A plus. Even though we have not finished the project, we have accomplished something huge just by stepping back and reasoning, thinking through the problem, we have solved it. Now, instead of carrying on with this marker again, which I do not like, I am going to grab a pen that will work throughout the project and then we will continue. So excited. Okay, we are going with third time is a charm here. I have the picture frame all set up on the Curio 2. The electrostatic mat is on. My cutting mat is set in place. The blank is taped down. I have went and got just a regular ballpoint pen, brand new so that it does not run out of ink, in the pen adapter for the Cameo 4. Let's get this set in place. And pop that in, close the tab, no gaps, should be good to go. We're going to come on over to the computer and hit send. Before I do that, I am going to lower the force to four because I think the problem with the first run is that it was too deep. Now I'm going to hit send. The little message box will pop up with the instructions. I'm going to hit send again. We're going to watch for the auto measure feature here and it did not measure properly so I'm going to use maybe it's okay it seems to be working I did modify the design a little bit it is not as large now so hopefully nothing will go off of the edges It's still going off the edge. Okay, I do plan on finishing this project. I promise I will post pictures here in the community tab and I will also put them over in the book of faces. I'll post a link to the group and the page down below in the description. 
if you are ready for another video i'm going to highly suggest this one here if you are done with youtube for the day go create something amazing and i will see you in the next video